Right, so Darren, tell us what can one expect, like the new features one can expect from Snow Leopard. Right, so uh, there are many new features mm -hmm. in Snow Leopard, and I'd like to broadly categorize them into two sets. Okay. The first set is the, are the changes to the core technology mm -hmm. that allows the Mac, as I've sh uh, shown, mm -hmm. uh, to behave a lot faster. Okay. Right? Technology like 64-bit computing, where mm -hmm. you can uh, use as much RAM on the Mac as you can possibly install. Right. right. Uh, technology like Grand Central Dispatch okay. and OpenCL to allow developers to harness the full power of all the modern Macs that come with great graphics card, mm -hmm. a multi-core Intel processors. Mm -hmm. So they are able to optimize all of this so the Mac becomes really, really okay. fast. Now the second group of new features mm -hmm. are the refinements that we have made to all the existing features in previous version of Mac OS X that we have brought into this version. Right. That makes it really intuitive. Uh, it's not an entirely different Mac, okay. but you get a feeling that it's different because it's so much more refined. Right. So let, let's get to it. Let me show that to you. So this is the new uh, Mac desktop. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, for example, in Finder, yeah. you can, as with previous versions yeah. of Snow Leopard, uh, view the icons and have a live preview. Right. In this version, we have made it even better. And our users have asked us, you know, could you now produce much larger icon size so I can really look at the, the documents without even opening the application. Do you know the rational reason why they wouldn't want to do that? It's much more productive. Because okay. people just want to get on doing with whatever they are doing mm -hmm. without having to wait for the computer to work all the time. Okay. And that's why we made it faster. So right from within the window itself, you can resize the icon. Okay. Look at how gorgeous and gigantic it becomes. 512 by 512. Mm -hmm. You can flip between the pages. And if you really look closely, you can even read the words. Like yeah. here it says cultural calendar. That's right. right? Uh, it will work for a number of document types. So this is a PDF. Right. Uh, this is a movie. Okay. You can play that movie. If you really want to view it even bigger, you just go to quick look. Notice how the movie seamlessly moved from uh, the quick look mm -hmm. to the icon view. Yeah. Very, very quick. So besides movies and PDFs, what else can one expect? They have, uh, we'll do uh, that with the Excel documents. Okay. Uh, we have a Word document there. Mm -hmm. We have a Keynote document here, which is the, pre which is the presentation right. software from okay. Apple. Great. So besides this, what else can we expect? Now, the second new feature that we have mm -hmm. th that I'd like to show you is what I call expose uh, in the dock. Right. We had expose in, pre in the previous version okay. of Mac OS X. Right, so for the benefit of those who are you know, watching out there who doesn't know what expose is, mm -hmm. mind sharing us a little? Right. So expose is a fantastic way mm -hmm. within one keystroke, be able to arrange all the open windows on your cluttered desktop okay. instantly so that you can go to any one of the windows that you, have, uh, that, that, that you choose. All right, so let's see that. So now we have refined that process. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to launch a couple of windows. So we have uh, many windows open here. It looks like a typical desktop, very cluttered, very messy. Mm -hmm. We have uh, pictures in the background, mail open, mm -hmm. a couple of final windows are open as well. Yep. Uh, the expose rearranges this within a keystroke. So you, you simply click on F3 on your keyboard, okay. and it arranges and rearrange everything in the nice. full view of your screen, right? Mm -hmm. it, it is not just a small icon that's docked to the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, it make, makes use of the entire screen. And if you wanted to uh, look at a bigger picture, you just do the space bar for quick mm -hmm. look, and you can shuffle to the screen. Nice. So you can really, really uh, see where you want to get to. Now then we have Expose Doc, which is a refinement of Expose. Okay. So supposingly you wanted to just go to a document, okay. a particular doc, mm -hmm. doc, doc, document type. Let's say a JPEG, right? Mm -hmm. So you simply hover over Preview. Okay. Right, you click on it, and it just shows you everything that is it's associated with pictures. And yes, that's absolutely right. All right. And mail, all right? Which is fantastic, because mm -hmm. uh, in a typical instance, let's mm -hmm. say I wanted to uh, drop a photo onto a cluttered desktop, right? Mm -hmm. So I would simply be able to take one of this, I will go onto the dock itself, mm -hmm. and expose will show me the three mail screens I have. I simply 
click one and I'll drop it. Right, and we just and there you it. go. And then okay, great. Well, thank you, Darren. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>